and the Fed and all central banks. The second source of funding for the ruling elites, besides the money extorted from the public in the form of taxes, comes from the central banks. Central banks are allowed to create paper money out of thin air. This reduces the purchasing power of money and destroys the savings of average people. It does not and cannot make society as a whole richer, but it redistributes income and wealth within society. The earliest receiver of the newly created money that is usually the ruling elites are thereby made richer and the later and latest receiver that is the average citizen are made poorer. The central bank's manipulation of interest rates is the cause of boom-bust cycles. The central bank permits the accumulation of ever greater public debt that is shifted as a burden onto unknown future taxpayers or is simply inflated away. And as a facilitator of public debt, the central banks are also the facilitators of wars. This monstrosity must end and be replaced by a system of free, competitive banking built on the foundation of a genuine commodity money such as gold and silver.